Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to work on the applications of trigonometry. And here is the word problem. Let's read this problem right now. An electrician has to repair an electric fault on a pole of 5 meter height. He needs to reach a point 1.3 meter below the top of the pole to do his job. So we have been asked to calculate two things. What should be the length of the ladder if the angle of inclination is 60 degrees? And the second thing is calculate the horizontal distance from the foot of the pole to the foot of the ladder. So before we start working with the calculation, let's go over the basic so ka toa chart. Here you can see so means sine equal to opposite over hypotenuse and likewise toa means tangent equal to opposite over adjacent. So just keep in your mind that we need these two ratios in order to work on our this given problem. Now let's get started with our part A. We are going to calculate the length of this ladder. So we are going to find out the length of this ladder. So we're going to be dealing with this triangle BCD. And we know that the height of this pole AC is 5 meter and this electrician is working on this point B so we know that this distance is going to be 3.7 meter if we subtract 1.3 from 5 meters. So thus let's get started with the saying in a triangle this given triangle B C D you can see in this triangle BCD this angle is 60 degrees angle is that means the opposite side is going to be this one this is our opposite side and this the largest leg is going to be longest leg is going to be our hypotenuse so our appropriate trigonometric ratio is going to be sine theta and we know that the theta angle is 60 degrees so this is simply is going to become sine of 60 degrees equal to as you can see our this opposite height is 3.7 meters 3.7 divided by this we need to figure out the the length of this hypotenuse this is ladder so this length i'm going to call it b d so i'm going to call it b d and we need to find out the value of b d how much is b d because that represents the length of the ladder and we know that the sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2 or in terms of decimal it's going to be a 0 0.8 Six, six. So I'm going to replace this sine of 60 degree by 0 0.866 equal to 3.7 over B D. And now we need to calculate the B D. So very first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one underneath this decimal and I am going to cross multiply. Let's cross multiply this way so that is going to give us 0 0.866 times bd equal to 1 times 3.7 is going to be 3.7 since we want to solve for bd so i'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.866 on both sides 0 0.866 Six. And here these decimals numbers they cancel out so we ended up with BD equal to if we divide these numbers we're going to get 4.27.
So thus the length of the ladder BD turns out to be 4.27 meters. And now in our next step, we are going to calculate the horizontal distance from the foot of the pole to the foot of the ladder. That means we are going to calculate this CD. That means we are looking for the value of this CD. And this time we will be using tangent theta equal to opposite over adjacent as we know that this side we call it adjacent and this side is our opposite. So this is going to become tangent of and we know that the angle is 60 degree tangent of 60 degrees equal to opposite side we know is a 3.7 divided by adjacent we need to figure out that value this is divided by cd and we know that the tangent of 60 degrees is square root of 3 or in terms of decimal it's going to be a 1.732 so i'm going to replace this tangent of 60 degrees by 1.732 equal to 3.7 over c d and here i am going to put a one underneath this number and now i am going to solve for c d before i do that one i am going to cross multiply these numbers if we cross multiply that is going to become 1.732 times cd equal to 1 times 3.7 is going to be 3.7 let's go ahead and isolate cd so i'm going to divide both sides by 1.732 and 1.732 and then this thing over here these numbers cancelled out so we simply got C, D, and if I divide these numbers, we are going to get 2.14. So thus the horizontal distance from pole to the ladder, which is C, D, turns out to be 2.14 meters. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.